Hey, I just want to make a quick video about how I used the Pomodoro technique on my i3 Debian build. Um, so, uh, just in case you don't know what the Pomodoro technique is, maybe I should talk about that first. Um, so, this is the Wikipedia entry for Pomodoro technique, which basically just means tomato technique. It's just a way of forcing yourself to get work done. Um, and I find it pretty beneficial if there's something that I really want to avoid, um, and I just have to force myself to get through it. This is a way of doing it. Um, you can, of course, just read this, but, um, basically, uh, this guy had a little tomato timer, and he would just set it for 25, usually it's 25 minutes, so you do 25 minutes of pure work, and then usually you get... Um, like a five minute break where you don't do any work at all. Um, usually I, I would um, stand up and kind of walk around or get a drink of water or go to the bathroom. And then um, after the five minutes, you're right back into, um, into actual work, 25 minutes again. And then you can keep doing this. Um, usually up to four times, or hopefully you have your task done, you force yourself to complete it, but um, after four times, then you should probably take a bigger break, um, 15 or 30 minutes break um, after that. Or maybe uh, you're off to lunch or something, maybe you um, can take an even larger break. But it's basically just a way of stopping you from procrastinating. Okay, anyway, so that's the Pomodoro technique as to me, but how are you going to do that on i3? Because um, usually you're going to have like widgets or timers or um, these types of things. How can you do this? Well, I um, I was debating on whether I should just write a script myself. Um, and before I did that, I went and checked out um, GitHub, just in case someone had already written. It turns out people have written tons. So what I did was I just took something that someone had already done on GitHub and I just edited it to my uh, liking. It was just easier and then uh, it was one less thing I had to do. So I have it binded to just mod key um, P here. Oh, mod key uh, capital P is the way I did it. And it just asked me, uh, do you want to start a tomato? Okay. Um, so, yes, I do. And then right there, it tells me that it's uh, counting down. Now, what it's going to do when it counts down is it's going, when it when it reaches zero, um, it's going to um, play a sound. Okay, and then when it plays that sound, it's going to ask me what I did. You can disable this if you want. It's going to ask me, um, what did I do? And you can you can disable the it, ha, it makes a little log of what you did. So um, this is the person that made. I think his name is Luke Alistair. Um, I stole. I forked his, but I'm gonna I'm gonna promote the the guy that initially wrote it. So Luke Alistair, if you're out there, I'm using it. Um, I forked it, but um, this is the original. So. Um, it's super simple, which I really like. It does use dialog, so if you don't already have that installed, you will need to install that. I had to install it myself. Um, but one thing that's nice, of course you can change anything here, but one thing is nice, ooh, where is it? Um, where it plays the music. Do, 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 do. Well, here's where it talks about the the log. So it's gonna come out. It's gonna make a Pomodoro log, and at the end, it'll ask you, um, "What did you do?" And just for fun, you can write what you did, and it saves it in this file. So I guess you could go back and um, look at what what you've been working on. Um, so I kept that. I thought that was kind of a neat idea. So I held on to that. Um, trying to find where the music is. You know what, that might be in this other fork. Let's see. Whoops. Let's see, three forks. That might be in this one. I think this person added the music. 
Yeah, right here. Okay, so I thought this was good. Okay, so who added this? This is Little Miller Four added this. In case you don't know what GitHub is, it's awesome. So definitely check this out. But Little Miller added um, that it plays these sounds from your desktop, um, which is really helpful because generally those are installed. Of course, you have the freedom to change anything you want here. Um, that's the great thing about free and open source software. Um, so you can change this to play any sound on your computer at all. Um, but I thought this is really helpful that um, that this is stated here. And um, I did change what um, what sound that it plays, but I found it really helpful that it was just right there. So um, these are just some of the things that um, helps. But basically all it does is it just counts down to um, from 25 and then it plays the sound. It asks you what you did and then um, you can write what you did. It gives you a five minute break. It asks you if you want to go again and then 25 minutes and so on. So um, that's basically all it is. Um, it's only even with the extension of the music, it's only um, 53 lines of code, and it's written in Bash, so that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, that is Pomodoro on i3. Hopefully you'll check it out. There is ton. I will say that there are tons of um, Bash Pomodoro scripts on GitHub, but um, this one I think is the one for me for now. Um, there. There are actually simpler ones that just, they don't use dialogue, so maybe that's something to check out if you don't want to use dialogue, but I thought this was pretty good. Yeah, so that's it.